the metadata they're collecting as much as like what you're saying, you know, the conversations can be completely end to end encrypted in a strong way, but the metadata itself tells a bigger story than what your conversation does a lot of the times. That's oh yeah, like your uh, you're talking about like your IP address and your location data and all that, or or other things. Um. Yeah. I mean, there there's a lot. I, I mean, there's, I mean, there's browser fingerprinting. There's location data. There's um, just metadata that is specific to the to the network. Um, like that's one of the things about Matrix that makes it undesirable for this situation and is the fact that it collects a lot of unnecessary metadata, um, whereas like the alternatives we've been talking about don't collect any. Um, and metadata will rat you out just as much as what you're saying a lot of the times. I mean, people, I mean, right now, just, um, I mean, there's this big news item where in um, basically uh, it was a British, um, British contractors, special forces contractors, just got um, drone striked or missile striked because of their phone metadata, because they were picked up outside of the uh, like an S like SAS in installations, I believe in um, I want to say Poland or, or somewhere like basically somewhere where the Russians had planted IMEI traps that basically take all of the um, data from the phones that are being turned on when people come out of the door of the secured facilities. They were collecting all that information and they were correlating phone numbers with, um, you know, former British special forces and basically using them for striking data, you know, like for targeting data um, in the war over there in the Ukraine. Dude, that's so, pretty I mean, cool. I mean, not cool that they did that, but I mean, yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. that level of technological, um, you know, thought process, that's pretty, pretty interesting. It's good to know about. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. And this, have you heard of dirt boxes? Um, not specifically. So, so um, uh, from what I've heard and, and looked up, sometimes the U.S. government flies around major cities with these things called dirt boxes. And they, uh, they basically take all the packets of all the like, you know, 4G, 3G um, wireless communications and, um, mm -hmm. and log them, you know, oh, yeah, for, yeah, yeah. for you, future yeah. use. Yeah, it's like a variation of the stingrays. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah, same, that's, same exact that's thing. Basically, that's what the Russians were using, basically. They're just, you know, their version of the stingray. And they were and collecting so, all this. And so uh, you said they got drone striked, right? Was it because they were in control of the cellular towers and could triangulate where these people were? Uh, is that how they were able to well, do that? Well, I mean, the, the way things work is they had people that were infiltrators into um, Ukrainian telecom basically pass information along, from what I understand. So there's some um, social engineering that went on before this. Like it's this major hack, basically. Definitely. You know I mean, yeah, that sounds like a pretty big, uh, yeah, pretty very big coordinated. project. But I mean, that's they're, they're, that's the where things are escalating now. Um, there's no borders to this current conflict, and like being in the wrong place at the wrong time, and having your phone rat you out through your metadata um, could be hazardous to your health at this point. Definitely, especially if you live over there. <laughs> but um, but no, definitely. And, and the thing is, too, like, this isn't just, like you said, it's not just limited to Ukraine, especially as time goes on. Like, um, this is stuff that's going to happen over here in the U.S. and the rest of Europe. I mean, if it's not already happening. I mean, we we already talked about stingrays and dirt boxes, right? So, I mean, that kind of stuff yeah, that yeah. is already happening here. It's just the question well, of are we going to be targeted? You know, it's like kind of degree, right? The U.S., you know, we're people living here are more at risk of um, the cyber attacks that would want to zombie your system to make it part of a larger botnet than we are like of coordinates being given to for some type of strike because we post something on social media that was bad. Um, 
but that could change. Definitely. I was, I was talking to a guy the other day and he was saying how he stores all of his data on Google's cloud with a, a Chromebook. Right. And he's like, oh, yeah, boy. I've got nothing to hide. <laughs> I've got nothing to hide. I'm like, well, yeah, right now, but like Winnie the Pooh is outlawed in China. Like if you have Winnie the Pooh on your phone in China, you go to jail, buddy. He's like, yeah, but I got nothing to hide. I'm like, yeah, currently with the current government, buddy, you don't understand. And he didn't. He honestly didn't. Because that's really the issue that we're dealing with, with these, you know, ghost phones, ghost pads, whatever, is that there's no way that you can organize with with other people and have these distributed tribes if you have a snitch in your pocket all the time. Mm -hmm. People are literally wearing wires all the time. They have a snitch in their pocket and they're trying to do clandestine things. That's never going to work. You know, I'm focused on this project now because I really see how the unfettered flow of communication is what really has prompted this, you know, shift in consciousness. And that if this does, if this can't continue this way and people can't communicate freely with each other, then all the dis distributed networks that have formed um, aren't going to be very effective and they're not going to, uh, they're not going to be able to do what they could do. Um, if you can't communicate, especially when you're basically part of a dispersed tribe at this point, if you can't communicate without being monitored, it basically hamstrings anything, you know, anything going forward. Step up your privacy and order a ghost phone today. Just visit libertyunderattack.com forward slash ghost phone. Again, libertyunderattack.com forward slash ghost phone. And make sure to keep a lookout for more ghost pads, privacy tools, freedom boxes, and more. LibertyUnderAttack.com is the website. Liberty Under Attack Publications. Share your story. Find your freedom.